I got a brand new car. Hello and welcome to Forge vs. The World Episode 3. You've seen us take on Quidditch and American football, but this is the point where this series officially got out of hand. Little head, Bob. I was feeling fine before we got here. Now I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I've been worried before we even got here and I'm seeing horses. We spent a lovely Wednesday afternoon with the University Equestrian Club, learning how to not fall off horses mainly. Now, let's meet the stars of this episode. Um, I'm alright, I was feeling okay beforehand, but now actually watch them do it and stuff, it's a bit, it's a bit nervous. Yeah, I just want to kind of see what it's like, get started. I think once I'm there, I'll be alright. Luke is the second Mancunian to appear on Forge vs. The World, and this show actually falls under his section, so should be doing quite well at this, Luke. That being said, how much experience do you actually have with horses? None at all. I've barely even seen horses, to be honest. I've said before, um, there used to be horses around my estate that people would ride on. I don't really know if they were like actually owned or nicked because there wasn't any stables nearby. So, but yeah, no, I've never, I've never been on a horse. Never been near a horse, really. Uh, I've been nervous for like the entire week because I don't know why I'm putting myself on a horse because I feel like I'm probably not gonna have a good time but why not, you try something new every day. Can you tell that Tom really didn't want to be here? We only got him last minute, so it's good he's turned up at all, to be honest. Uh, I think I rode a horse when I was like eight on holiday with this weird horse safari abroad. And I was at the back of <laughs> the row of horses, which meant I got to see all the other horses leaving behind presents for me. And then round the right bit. They were making me feel so sick I had to get off and go. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, last time I went and the horse fell off it, so you know, uh, hopefully we can get a better better day than that. But um, yeah, should should be good. How hard can it be? Tim, you idiot, you never say that before going on a horse. He's head of sport as well, by the way, so he actually should be good at this. So pretty six or seven years ago, went on a horse, uh, that was back in Essex, uh, at one of the farms there. Uh, bit, yeah, this is a bit, bit more picturesque here, isn't it? So um, uh, yeah, fell off that one, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, can't get any worse than that, so uh, yeah. Me? Not a bother. I'm gonna, it's going to be funny watching the other ones go. <laughs> it's worth pointing out that Matt can actually ride a horse, so he is going to show everyone up massively. But hey, you know, sport. Uh, I've got five years experience riding, so I'm like the next Frankie the Tour. Horse-based entertainment. Uh, my Little Pony, because they're cute and they're sassy. Um, the song Goodbye Horses. I don't know who's by, but it's in Silence of the Lamb. Favourite horse-based activity is horse racing, as I am a horse racing addict, which is probably not that healthy. Uh, horse racing. In terms yeah, Matt, of Matt said that. Well, like TV or a game? Yeah, is there a TV show that you like to Just watch the Grand National and stuff like that. Ascot stuff, yeah. Just no. bet betting at horses. How do you feel, Matt? I feel better than I think some other people do. <laughs> 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 you ready to get into trot as well over there? Drop me, not the trot. Oh, no. <laughs> Once they start doing that, I'm screaming. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I was getting on. And with Matt full of confidence there, it's time to get kitted up. And this was actually more difficult for them than you might have hoped. <laughs> yeah, that's spot on. That's a nine. Nice. My proudest, this is my oh, proudest man. achievement I've ever done. Is I've been in two years and my job is still a bit, a bit of ballet as well. Yeah, just do one step at a time. I want to try hats as well. Yeah? I don't know. 
Quite a big. No, that's actually, that if there's any bigger, that would be ideal. Please go on the You're such a girl. Okay. 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 Is it like to go like that? Or is it like that? So you see what it's like. I mean, the standard one would be great to start with, so you know. The first task was to actually get on the horse, and Luke and Tom seem to have passed that with flying colours. Let's see what the club members have to say about what Forge are about to do on a horse. Right, so they're basically they're just getting a feel for the horse, like um, just getting used to the aids and just like so that's stopping and starting. And they've just had a go of like trying to learn how to do the rising trot. <laughs> Editor's notes, Dan. When doing my bits, can you film use more of the like first half when I'm not panicking? Because by the end of it, I was getting very flustered and I was messing up a lot of stuff. At the first start, I was actually very good. So I would like you to keep just use that bit if you can, Dan. Thank you. really well considering it's the first time riding. Yeah, they did good. They got into the trot nicely and um, making good progress. They should definitely ride again. <laughs> yeah, they picked up quite quick. They seemed quite relaxed and quite happy when they're just going around. Is that fair? Um, who was better? <laughs> oh, I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't think I could compare. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Luke's the bad loser. Though. I am. I'm really annoyed that I couldn't trot properly because now watching other people do it, you're like, oh, I can do that as well easier. But when you're on there, you're just like thinking a million things. Okay, Luke and Tom, how did you find it? A lot less stressful than I thought it was when they kept talking about trotting. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be really crazy. Like for like five seconds, and I'm gonna panic. But. No, it was all right. It was quite chill. Maybe because they were guiding us a lot. I think if I was on my own, I'd probably be having a panic attack every other second. I feel like I was. I did right. So at first, I was very scared. I got on. I was like panicking, and I was concentrating fully and getting onto it. And I was like, yes. This is. And then she was letting me walk around by myself by, for quite a bit, which I was, I was happy with. But then by the end of it, she was guiding me a lot. So I'm thinking by the end of it, because I've just been told so many things healed down do this you've forgotten i'd forgotten stuff like yeah by the end of it i was just by the end of it i was so focused on getting the trot right that i'd forgotten like the basic stuff well the bait that was what like even stuff like how i was holding the rein and stuff like at, at first when you messed that up i was like yes already beating tom at this so i'm just like you just like pop up like well you that. weren't allowed to pop up because you had to 
stand up on your feet. You yeah. weren't meant to go on your tiptoes. You were meant to just like push it. Yeah, you just push it up with just like all you with your thighs. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, sure. very pleased. Why I don't know where not? you're wandering off to. Sorry, Do you want to ask that again? Are you, pleased, are you pleased you did it? Uh, yeah, definitely very pleased. I I'm really less enjoyed it. Regretful than I was before I got on the Hmm? Cool. That's... Right, see how badly this goes. Is he already on the horse? Oh, right, okay, fair enough. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, twice, but it's about four or five years ago now. With Matt being a proper jockey here, the main entertainment is going to come from Tim, let's be honest. Although he does look to have made it onto the horse without any difficulties, so good for you, Tim. Yep. Going well? So like that. Yep. And that back. Cool. Okay. Yeah. 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 A bit quick as he. I would say the pressure's all on Matt here, just to give you an idea for the full audience here, because he has done this so many times and I've done it twice, so um, yeah. If he falls off and gets it wrong, well, the video's going to be uh, a bit, bit of a laugh that. How's it going? Oh, it does your muscle in that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And then. There you go. And then down. Ho oh, ho, that does your calf in that nearly. That, yeah, that's close to pulling your muscle there. What's, his, what's, what's the name? Jack. Good boy, Jack. Good boy. I, uh, I really enjoy being back on the horse again. Um, you would, to be honest. I enjoyed watching him ride the horse as well. Nah. <laughs> the thing is, with him, I mean, obviously, I've got the, the trainers to have the help with the horse, sort of tugging me just in case it happens. With with him, it was like half the time he didn't need the trainer, which was just showing off a bit. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was showing off a bit. I'm glad I was showing off a bit. Trust me, when you try and get off a horse and you try and get your right leg round, it's a nightmare in your muscle. It's just beggar's belief. It's getting off a horse is easy. <laughs> getting off a horse is the most difficult bit. Trust me in that. But no, it's good fun. I'll, yeah. I I'll, I'll will we'll be going on a horse again sometime soon. Um, I think they both did really good. Obviously, one of us has ridden before, and you could tell. But um, yeah, like the more you do it, the more like relaxed you get on the horse, and the more you get used to it. So it's just right. like one of them things. We'll do it together again, and next time, sort of the standard will be that great for me. Is that we'll, we'll catch up. We'll catch up eventually. Huge thanks to the Equestrian Club for letting us come and get in the way whilst we film this episode. I'm John Prescott and you've been watching Forge vs. The World.